Historically, beauty pageants have been criticized, some suggesting that it adds to the objectification of women, placing emphasis on physical beauty alone, neglecting other areas of talent that young women should be focusing on instead. Luckily, though, the format and definition of beauty pageants has changed considerably since the first beauty pageant in Scotland in 1839. The Miss Namibia pageant, for example, focuses on beauty with a purpose. Over the years, Miss Namibia has not only been an inspiration for young girls, but she has also had to reach out to all corners of the community, spreading awareness and education and uplifting the lesser fortunate. We speak to Connie Moritz, organizer of the Miss Namibia pageant, about the upcoming Miss Namibia 2016 pageant, as well as the title holder's function and purpose to our society. Tonight we have the National Director of the Miss Namibia pageant, Connie Moritz, in studio. Good evening, Connie. Good evening, Alna. So obviously you can't just pick any girl based on what she looks like. Um, there is some rigorous process that these contestants go through to become yes. finalists. Yes. Um, let's talk about that process. Well, all the entries that are received are being judged by a panel just by the photograph and the information on the entry form. And then this panel will select 40 semi-finalists who are then invited for an interview. But part of the 40 semi-finalists are also those winners of other recognized um, pageants. They are also then automatic semi-finalists. Um, we will have another judging panel who judges the 40 semi-finalists down to the top 12. And um, the top 12 are then being judged again by a different panel to, um, in various categories. We are starting off with an interview section. And after the interview section, we've got various um, categories that are judged on a stage during the crowning event. And all these scores by that panel are added together and we we then select the top five, and then from the top five, um, Miss Namibia and her two princesses um, are announced, and all the scores are being verified by an, um, an auditor. An auditor yeah. an um, now, so, so what qualities are you guys looking for? What is the judges looking for? Um, I mean, it's not just photos. They do give information. So, you know, what, tell me about that. What type, of, what type of woman will Miss Namibia be? Well, I, I know from the experience what the judges normally go for, for of the photo selection, it is the very first wow impression. Uh, and then you have to look closer at, um, you know, the skin or the height, um, the age, uh, because we are restricted um, internationally by ages. Uh, but I nearly think that the wow factor is um, definitely important. is definitely important and that is what I also urge the ladies that are entering please don't send us a passport photo um, oh, it must be a nicely styled yeah. photograph um, she must be well groomed beautifully made up and just to get back to the fact that she's not just a pretty face, um, I know a lot of our Miss Namibia contestants and finalists so far have been students at tertiary educations, they've been entrepreneurs, and we've had some aspiring doctors even and nurses um, who have applied to become Miss Namibia who have written into the contest. Um, are these things that you look for as well when you are picking these ladies, the fact that they are ambitious? Well, I don't think that um, is actually... Um one of the biggest criteria. She should, um, or shall I say, education, as you men mentioned, it deals with education. And I don't think that it is so important for us that education and That's having right. a degree or that um, is uh, really And I mean, I think everything. You, you also um, give these ladies a lot of opportunities. Um, I think the viewers might think, okay, Miss Namibia, she gets a car, she gets a cell phone, she gets some makeup. Um, but there are valuable life lessons that these women pick up with this journey, with their reign. Um, let's talk about those, for instance. Well, um, firstly, I think that the Miss Namibia uh, pageant is a platform um, for, for the winner. And um, it, 
is not only about the prizes. It is about how she is using her title to um, alleviate poverty um, in our country. And many of the young people are looking up to her. I mean, I sometimes accompany the Miss Namibias to school, to schools. <laughs> when she walks in there, I mean, those kids just go, go crazy. crazy. They see her as a role model Fantastic. and they look up to her. Um, it is actually quite amazing. And she's learning stuff. She's learning public speaking. She's meeting people from international communities. I mean, they, there must be a lot of pressure to perform for these young ladies. Yes, there is. Um, and then they still have to put up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not making it easy for them. Yes. But um, if I look at an incoming Miss Namibia and I see an uh, outgoing Miss Namibia, it is vastly two different people. They have grown into the title and that is so rewarding for me. Fantastic. Um, and we've got in, I think, less than two weeks, we've got the Miss Namibia 2016 pageant coming up. Um, you must be quite nervous. Oh, I am. <laughs> There's so much to do and um, it's quite intense. Okay. Quite um, intense. And obviously Miss Namibia is also a business. So there are definitely sponsorship that, that needs to keep this, this cultural pillar of us going. Um, let's talk about the people who make this possible every year. Well, sponsors are at the core of the success of the Miss Namibia pageant. At the same time, Miss Namibia pageant is doing all it can to publicly give recognition to the involvement of those sponsors. In my opinion, it is therefore a win-win situation for all. The sponsors get public exposure for their participation through the Miss Namibia um, welfare programs and the less privileged benefit from those programs. In this process, the Miss Namibia pageant acts as a catalyst to make this all possible. Connie, thank you so much for coming into the studio and talking to us and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. It's going to be quite an exciting event and I'm so excited and thrilled that One Africa is so involved this year. Are there still tickets available? Yes, the tickets are available at um, the Lana Dry Cleaner outlets in town as well as at Biosculpture Namibia. Fantastic, thank you. After the break, we'll have a look at the new Miss Namibia contestants for 2016. From Swakop Munto Ongwena, the contestants of Miss Namibia come from across the country, ready to start their stuff for you on the 9th of July. The pageant will be taking place at the Country Club Hotel and Casino at 8 on Saturday the 9th of July. The pageant will be broadcast on the 10th of July on One Africa Television. Be sure to vote for your candidate for the Viewer's Choice Award by SMSing her name to 555. You can watch all the contestants on One Africa Television's YouTube channel. 